California's always been pretty kooky, which is why for decades normal people have called it the land of fruits and nuts. But now the demonic plague of liberalism has turned it into a place that is indistinguishable from an episode of The Twilight Zone. Libraries in San Francisco and Los Angeles are now hosting Drag Queen Story Hour, where drag queens come in and read books to the children to teach them about gender identity and diversity. This demonic looking drag queen wearing a wedding dress and having horns come out of its head just read some stories to the children at the Long Beach City Public Library, which proudly tweeted out this thank you, saying that it was there to celebrate Drag Queen Story Time and LGBTQ ABCDEFG History Month. I'm sorry to tell you that this is not fake news or some satire from The Onion. This is actually happening, and liberals are actually bringing their children to these events. Who wants to be a drag queen when they grow up? <laughs> Who is ready for a story? The hips on the drag queen go swish, 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 swish. This one's reading My Princess Boy, where the description on Amazon says, Dyson loves pink sparkly things. Sometimes he wears dresses. Sometimes he wears jeans. He likes to wear his princess tiara even when climbing trees. He's a princess boy. Word about Drag Queen Story Hour is starting to spread, and obviously normal people are quite upset about it. And this guy decided to respond to somebody who was critical of the Story Hour, saying that he loves the satanic drag queens, and that he's going to have two drag queens be the celebrity judges at his annual children's pumpkin carving. This demonic creature's name, Scott Weiner, rang a bell, and then it dawned on me. This is the California state senator who introduced the bill which Governor Jerry Brown just signed into law that makes it no longer a felony for gay people to purposefully spread HIV. This is literally the guy which introduced the bill, which is now law in California, which makes purposefully spreading AIDS as serious of a crime as slapping somebody in the face. Governor Jerry Moonbeam Brown also signed a new bill into law allowing people to list on their driver's license that they're not male or female. Now they have a third option that they're non-binary. By the way, Oregon recently put a similar law in place so that people can now choose X as their sex instead of male or female. Just X. All of this is very depressing, I know. So let's end this video by watching Megyn Kelly dance. Liberalism has been so devastating in 2017 that we lost Megyn Kelly, once the pretty face of Fox News, who now turned to the dark side as a morning show on NBC where she's doing this. I had to mute this clip and put some different music in there or I'd have some copyright issues with YouTube, but this is what happened to Megyn Kelly. Megyn, no! Megan, please, snap out of it. You are the chosen one. Don't do this to us. I'm Mark Dice. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and check back here on Monday for a new report. I hope you visit my online store. Click the link in the description below or this t-shirt over here on the side where you can get your own liberalism find a care t-shirt. Help spread the word so we can stop this insanity from hopefully spreading further.